Welcome to the next episode of the sorting functionality for the inventory. Today, we will fix minor issues with the sort by menu widget, implement it into other widgets, and sort the items for the first time. Let's dive in. Start in the WB inventory widget. Locate the WB sort by menu widget in the palette. Before adding it, right click on the WB underscore slots container, select wrap with, and choose vertical box to better organize the layout. Drag the sort by menu widget into the newly created vertical box. Make sure that it is positioned above the slot container within the vertical box. Select the slots container and set its fill property to ensure it takes up the remaining space. Then, select the sort by menu widget, expand its padding settings under vertical box slot, and set the bottom padding to 20 for proper spacing. Change the horizontal alignment of the sort by menu to right for a clean alignment. Next, we need to update the button text in the sort by menu widget. Open the sort by menu widget, go to the designer, select the text block inside the button, change first the color at the color and opac t property to the color hex hash d1e2f. Then set the font size to 16 for better readability. Compile and save the changes. Go to the inventory widget. Go to the graph and open the event graph. Delete the existing get player controller node and replace it with our interface. Call the get owning player node. Then take its return value and call the get controller ref message. Place this call right after the event construct. Connect the my player controller pin from the get controller ref node to the target input of the change mouse mode UI node. In the future, we will optimize this further by retrieving the controller reference through the character reference to keep the setup cleaner. Drag the sort by menu widget into the graph. Call the set slots container node on it. Connect the execution pins to integrate it into the event flow. Finally, drag the slots container variable into the graph and connect it to the slots container pin of the set slots container node. Compile and save to finalize these updates. Click on the three dots at the top of the play button. Select play as client under net mode. This will allow us to test the multiplayer functionality properly. Press play to test. Add a few items to the inventory. Open the inventory and sort by amount. You will see that the sorting works correctly. Now switch back and forth between weight and amount using the drop down menu. The sorting updates as expected. The sort button, which we still need to rename, also works. Move a few items around and click the button to sort them. The inventory sorts correctly. In the next episode, we will implement ascending and descending sorting, making the button more meaningful. Exit play mode and address the remaining issues. Open the sort by menu widget. Select the text block inside the button and change the text to sort items for clarity. Save the changes. Open the WB underscore storage widget. Here, we have both the inventory and the storage box displayed. Currently, we are using the storage box three times as duplicates. While this setup works for now, we will later refactor it into a modular widget for better reusability and maintainability. For now, we will leave it as it is and focus on functionality. Right-click on WB Inventory Container, which represents the inventory box in the hierarchy. Select Wrap With and choose Vertical Box. Do the same for WB Storage Container by right-clicking, selecting Wrap With, and choosing Vertical Box. Search for WB Underscore Sort by menu in the palette. Drag one instance into the vertical box for the inventory. Drag another instance into the vertical box for the storage. Select storage container and change its size setting to fill. Then, select inventory container and also change its size to fill. Hold control and select both sort by menu widgets. Change their horizontal alignment to right. Expand the padding setting for their slots and change the bottom padding to 20 for better spacing. Rename the inventory sort by menu to WB underscore inventory sort by menu for clarity. Rename the storage sort by menu to WB underscore storage sort by menu. Once completed, move to the graph to continue the setup.
Open the event graph and replace the existing get player controller node. Go to another widget like the inventory widget where the get owning player with the get controller ref node is already implemented. Copy this setup and paste it into the graph of the storage widget. Delete the old get player controller node and reconnect the execution pins as they were. Ensure that the my player controller pin from the get controller ref node is connected to the target pin of the node it was originally feeding. Drag both the inventory sort by menu and the storage sort by menu widgets into the graph. Call the set slots container node for each of them. Connect their execution pins properly to fit into the event flow. For the storage sort by menu, connect the storage container variable to the slot container pin. For the inventory sort by menu, connect the inventory container variable to its slot container pin. Compile and save your changes. Finally, check that the storage sort by menu is correctly connected to the target pin of its set slots container node. This issue can happen if the node was copied and pasted so double check to avoid errors. Once all connections are verified, your setup should be complete. Before continuing, let us make a final adjustment. Open the sort by menu widget. Select the spacer in the hierarchy. Change its first size box value to 15 to improve the spacing between the two buttons, ensuring a cleaner layout. Next, click on the three dots near the play button. Set the number of players to two and change the net mode to play as listen server. This configuration allows us to test multiplayer functionality, with the server acting both as the host and a player. Hit play to start testing the setup. Both players add items to their inventories. The client player runs to the storage box, opens it, and moves a pumpkin into the storage. The server player then runs to the storage box, opens it, and moves some additional items inside. Sorting the inventory as a client by amount works correctly and is synchronized. Sorting the storage box as a client by amount also works perfectly and remains in sync. The server player sorts their inventory by weight, and it functions as expected. Sorting the storage box as the server by weight also works without issues. Sorting is fully functional. In the next episode, we will implement ascending and descending sorting to make the sort button more meaningful. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, consider leaving a like to show your support, or subscribe to the channel to stay updated on all future episodes. Your feedback and engagement are incredibly valuable, so if you have any requests, suggestions, or ideas for improvements, feel free to share them in the comments below. If you need assistance with this project or anything related to Unreal Engine, join our friendly Discord community. It is a space where you can ask questions, share progress, and connect with others who are also learning and creating. Everyone is welcome, and we are always happy to help. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode.